Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Three Feet Away Studios. And today I'm going to show you some VSTs that I like to use. Now, uh, on earlier projects that I did, I've mentioned several times that I mainly use the free VSTs for everything I've done. And uh, you can decide for yourselves whether or not uh, that sounds good or works for you, but it works for me. And there's been very little that I've actually paid for for VSTs. I scour the internet for free ones. We'll be using Mixcraft Pro 9. Um, and uh, I've been using Mixcraft for a lot of years now. And I like the way it sounds. I like the way it works. It does for me pretty much what all the big boys could do because I've tried some of the other ones. Um, but uh, if you're using another one, that's fine. This will still work in there. But if you're using Mixcraft, this works uh, very well. And uh, Mixcraft is, is cheap compared to the other ones. And again, it will do pretty much anything you want it to do. So we've opened up our Mixcraft project. We're going to go to track one. doesn't really matter which track, but I'm going to choose track one. I'm going to change my instrument. I'm going to go to BSTs, and I'm going to type in MT, and I'm going to select MT Power, power Drum Kit. Now, what comes up on this one is this kit right here. You can't change it. It's uh, If you click on Drum Kit, it doesn't do anything, really. Um, it's this is it is you get what you get actually sounds really good if you're looking for a rock drum kit a ballad drum kit do some pop with it i've used it on a lot of stuff and there's one reason i like it so much and i'm so impressed that it's actually free is um you have a mixer section which you could change the volume individual volumes for for each uh for each item in the kit uh, kick snare and so forth you can add compression to each one if you'd like. You can change the pan in each one you like, or you can change the output if you're sending it to a mixer. Okay? What I really like about this is the groove section. Okay, so this this is probably available in some uh, pay uh, drum kits. I don't know. I've never paid for any. But on this uh, free one, what it allows you to do is it allows you to ch change a, check a style that you'd like, which is mainly 4-4, shuffle and uh, six eight right and in each one it gives you these folders right and each of these folders allows you to pick uh for different instruments intros that type of thing so we're going to take the first one for four grooves and we're going to take an intro we're going to use this first one that comes up and let me play it for you just a standard rock intro that's like a flannel in the snare um and you notice that in, in this groove section, you have 16 different ones to choose from. In uh, the next section, you have 14 to choose from. And then you have uh, six to choose from and so forth. So that's the intro section. And um, I'm good. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an intro and I'm just going to bring it down here to the composer. And I'll explain what the composer does shortly. But I'm going to take a simple intro, add it right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go into my groove sections. And again, you have uh, eighth closed hats, sixteenth closed hats, eight half open, so forth. Chinas, it, it, uh, tom grooves, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use the standard uh, eighth closed hat. And you can set this for as many bars as you wish. Okay, so we're going to leave it at three. We're going to take it and move it down here. All right. And then we're going to take a fill. Notice that when, when I was in intro, there were no fills available. When I go to close hi-hats, each one of the hi-hats also has fills associated with it. They're all pretty much the same, uh, same type of fill, but they might use different instruments and so forth. So we're going to take this fill and we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to take... We've done our fill. We're going to fill it into the next groove, which I'm just going to, again, make another simple groove. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a fill. Uh, let's, try, let's try a more uh, a fill that's a little bit more elaborate. Put it there. And then one more groove. Let's do this one. And let's just listen to what that sounds like. And we'll just take this groove, maybe make that the end. Okay, you can clear it out if you want to do something different. If you've made a mistake, 
You can go to the X's and change all that. Uh, also, you can set grooves to one bar, two bars, three bars, up to eight bars, I believe, right? Or you could do one bar of each one to get a little bit different. Uh, it, every groove changes just slightly, which I believe is what a drummer would do anyway. And it sounds very realistic. Um, it's already quantized. It's, it sounds like a real drummer. I mean, as close as you're going to get on a drum machine, of course. So we're going to listen to what we've created here on a composer. The intro. This is the first groove. It's going to go on for three measures, and then it's going to be a one measure fill. And then going back into groove two. And you should notice a slight difference between the two, and then another fill. And then I put a little bit funkier kind of, uh, and then the last fill. Okay? And so what's, what I like about this too is we can take this and we can hit this just single click and hold it and just move it right to the DAW. Okay? So now there it is. Uh, we can start building a song on this. Now, if those of you who use Mixcraft know that you can, you can split these up, you can move these around, make it a little bit more your own. You can go in and you can uh, put a humanized feel to it, make it a little bit more human if that's what you want. But this is where I would start, right? So I would highly urge you to look at MT Power Drum Kit. It's free and uh, I didn't want to get into everything that it will do as far as the different grooves that it has. I'll let you experiment that on your own. Uh, please, uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and send some comments below. If you know of some VSTs uh, that are free that I maybe have not heard of or one of your favorites, please put it in there. Um, and if um, you know you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me do on Mix Scrap, put that in there as well. And I'll get to it as quick as I can. Again, thank you for visiting the channel. Hit like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.